or along Tacoma Creek in the Colville National Forest, where one can experience dispersed camping. Thanks for tuning in with me today. It's the Wanderer on Tacoma Creek. Hey, just out here after getting the sleep system set up, enjoying some freshly sautéed Yakima Valley asparagus. Delicious. Notice the U-shaped fire pit with a high back for reflective capabilities. The U-shape allows for the air to draw properly up the high back wall of the fire pit. Here I'm preparing a $5 pork roast for cooking over the uh, coals. I've got it tied up. I'm going to take a piece of wire and have different hanging points here and hook it down to that tripod over the coals and see how we do.
Thought a little corn might go well with that pretty lean piece of pork. Well, here's dinner. Slice into this roast. See how she looks. Not too bad. Little uh, aluminum oxide powder on this uh, strop. It's a uh, rubber strop. It puts a keen edge on whatever you put to it. Razor sharp, it's razor sharp at this point. And I'll just coat it with a little bit of this uh, Japanese oil that's specifically made for, uh, like this is 1095 high carbon steel, it's made for carbon steel. So you get your patina, but this will protect the, the steel from excess moisture. And uh, just, uh, well, good morning. It's going to be red lentil soup for brunch here along Tacoma Creek. We've got some shallot, some celery, purple carrot, nice shot of some curry powder, and a mushroom soup flavoring. In go the veggies into some butter. Saute this down for just a minute. Okay, to the sauteed vegetables, I'm going to add some very fresh, fragrant uh, fennel seed to the soup. And we'll do a nice shot of some powdered garlic. Then we'll do our uh, curry powder. You can use um, mild or hot, whatever your preference would be. I like quite a bit of it. We just stir. Nice aroma going there. This is Michael from Michael's Outdoor Adventures, fighting mosquitoes and setting up some camera gear. mushroom soup broth. That'll add all the sodium this soup will need.
Okay, we just came to a boil here. Get her going real good and be uh, picking a few pine needles out of there. We'll just let that go for 30 minutes or so and then we'll be ready. To go with this vegetarian red lentil soup, I've got some bannock here, some camp bread mixed up. It's got a half a cup of blue corn meal, half a cup of bread flour, half a teaspoon baking powder, about a tablespoon of coconut milk powder, and I melted a little butter and kneaded that in, just like you would cut in the pastry dough at, at home. And I'm going to add to it, um, of course, just enough water to get it all um, incorporated. And we'll start with a smaller amount. Give it a good squeeze here. And I'll let this just sit for a minute and incorporate. Let the uh, flour absorb the liquid. Make sure we got the liquid right before I put it on a pan on the coals. few grindings of black pepper, grapeseed oil for the bread. Bannock's in a pan there with the lid on it. It's going to go well with those red lentils. Got a nice smoky fire going to keep the skeeter bugs away from us. Okay, our red lentil soup with all that curry and veg in there is about ready to go. We'll do the unveiling of the uh, Bannock bread. Um, 
Looked to me like it worked out pretty good. Uh, blue cornmeal bannock right here with our red lentil soup. Okay, I get to taste test this red lentil curry vegetable soup here about 10 in the morning. Make a nice brunch. Mmm, hot, satisfying. Lots of curry flavor going on there. Take a piece of this bannock and dip in there. Mmm, makes a nice dumpling with it. Time to filter a little water here. This is the Kaden Hiker model water filter. Very popular model. Second evening here at Tacoma Creek. About to grill up some dinner. On your left, in the aluminum foil packet, we have onions, cauliflower seasonings, and some sharp cheddar pub cheese. That'll all blend together nicely. And in the center here, we've got a Wild King salmon fillet brought in by my buddy Mike, caught by a friend of his uh, not too long ago. And then there on the right is some Yakima Valley asparagus that we'll grill up in the same grill pan that we're using for the, uh, for the salmon. It doesn't take long with a little oil and light seasoning on it. Well, here's what we've cooked up out on Tacoma Creek. We've got some cauliflower onion with pub cheese. We've got a Wild King salmon filet. We've got some grilled asparagus and a bit of avocado on the side. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more of what I do, subscribe and tap the bell. Until next time, keep on bushcrafting.